Welcome to the 2021 Incoming 10th Graders Parent Meeting. We hope this information will help you and your student navigate their 10th grade year. You can find the link to the 2021 course catalog as well as course selection sheets on the Granbury High School website under the Counselor tab. Students will graduate on the Foundation Program with Endorsement Plan and have the opportunity to achieve performance acknowledgements and the Distinguished Level of Achievement. Students will graduate on the Foundation Plan with an endorsement for a total of 26 credits. An endorsement can be thought of as a high school major. It allows the student to pursue particular areas of interest. Each year, your student's counselor will review the endorsement with your child. Please know that the endorsements can be changed, but the student needs to work closely with his or her counselor to ensure that all graduation requirements are met. The five endorsements from which your student may select are Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, otherwise known as STEM, Business and Industry, Public Services, Arts and Humanities, and Multidisciplinary. Let's look at the specific graduation requirements in more detail. Your student is required to graduate on the foundation plan with an endorsement. The number of credits in each area depends on your child's interests and goals. You will work with your counselor to determine what best fits your student's needs. However, a student must have a minimum of four credits each in English, Math, and Science, and three credits in Social Studies. The two foreign language credits must be in the same language. Your student will also need one Fine Arts credit and one PE credit and we'll round out the remainder of the credits in the selected endorsement area. Let's look at the endorsements more closely. GISD is excited to offer the STEM endorsement. There are three ways at GHS to earn an endorsement in STEM, either in math, science, or engineering. Please note that to earn a STEM endorsement, the student must successfully complete Algebra II physics, and chemistry. There are many ways to earn a business and industry endorsement, agriculture, graphics, arts and AV, finance, information technology, marketing, culinary, auto tech, yearbook, and debate. Students can pursue a public service endorsement via any of the following areas, health science, education, law and public safety, and JROTC. For the Arts and Humanity endorsement, a student can meet this endorsement requirement via English, Social Studies, Foreign Language, or Fine Arts. The last endorsement, or high school major, is the multidisciplinary endorsement. This endorsement allows students to take a variety of electives in different areas while still graduating with an endorsement. A student who pursues the multidisciplinary endorsement must take four social studies credits. Your student will select his or her endorsement using this form when they meet with the counselors to register for classes. The parent will have opportunity to acknowledge this endorsement when you complete the beginning of the year online registration forms. Students have the opportunity to earn additional recognitions. They are listed here for your review. It is important, however, that you remember that students must graduate with a distinguished level of achievement to be eligible for automatic admission to a Texas public college or university. There are additional graduation requirements that include the completion of 20 hours of community service, CPR training, which is generally completed in seventh grade, appropriate interaction with law enforcement, completion of the free application for federal student aid or FAFSA form, demonstration of college career military readiness by earning a national or international certification, meeting college ready standard on the TSI, ACT, or SAT test, 
successfully completing nine dual credit hours or successfully completing three dual credit hours in math or English. Attendance is very important. To earn a credit, a student must be in attendance for 90% of the course. It is imperative that if your student misses school due to a doctor's appointment or court appointment, that you get a note and turn it in to the GHS attendance clerk. Students are allowed three parent notes per semester. Notes will not be accepted if turned in after three days upon the student's return. Notes should be received on the day that the student returns to school. During the 11th and 12th grade years, students are allowed two college visits. You must use them each year as they do not roll over to the following school year. Granbury High School has a unique grade point average system or GPA system. Several years ago, we gathered focus groups made up of community members, current students, former students, teachers, parents, and administrators to evaluate our GPA system. Out of these meetings came our current GPA system. Granbury High School is on a 5.0 unweighted GPA scale. For students who opt to pursue a rigorous academic load, we instituted a system that honors their effort. A student who completes 16 advanced academic credits, also known as AACs, will have their overall GPA multiplied by 1.25. So if a student had a perfect unweighted GPA of 5.0 and successfully completed 16 AAC credits, his overall GPA would be multiplied by 1.25 and his weighted GPA would become 6.25. It is a, this is an example only to demonstrate how it works. In addition, we wanted students to be able to have an idea of where they rank and what their GPA would be early on in their high school career. So we conditionally apply the 1.25 multiplier when the student has successfully completed six AACs. To retain the multiplier, the student must meet the following benchmarks. By the end of their 11th grade year, they must have successfully completed 10 AACs. By the middle of their 12th grade year, they must have successfully completed 13 AACs. And by the end of the fifth, six weeks of their senior year, they must be passing 16 AAC classes. A student who does not meet these benchmarks will have the multiplier removed and their GPA will revert back to the unweighted 5.0 scale. In addition, our folks focus groups wanted students to be able to take four years of extracurricular activities and not have it impact their GPA. So we allow for two fidelity points to substitute for two of the 16 AACs. A student can get a fidelity point by being in transcriptable activities such as band, choir, theater, athletics, and ROTC for four years in grades 9 through 12. For example, if a student takes athletics four years and theater four years in grades nine through 12, he will have two fidelity points to use toward the count of 16 AACs. Our course catalog lists over 70 classes that are designated AAC eligible courses. A full explanation of the GPA system can be found in local board policy. It is important to remember that middle school credits do not calculate in rank and GPA, nor are they eligible for AAC consideration. This chart further illustrates important benchmarks regarding rank, GPA, and the application of the 1.25 multiplier. Remember, a student must successfully complete 10 AACs by the end of the 11th grade year, 13 AACs by the middle of the 12th grade year, and passing 16 AACs by the fifth six weeks of the 12th grade year to receive the multiplier. If these benchmarks are not met, the student's GPA reverts back to the unweighted 5.0 scale. More information is available in this course catalog as well as local board policy. We offer a wealth of AAC courses for your child to meet the 16 AACs. These are our honors AP and dual credit offerings. These are our career and technology offerings that satisfy the AAC requirements. 
Here are more CT CTE AAC eligible courses, as well as our Fidelity eligible courses. We are excited to offer dual enrollment courses in Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, and Statistics for the 2021-22 school year. It is a great way for a student to earn college credit at a very affordable price. Speak with your counselor about the particulars or refer to the links in our course catalog. In addition, we have some new and exciting CTE courses offered for the 2021-22 school year. Our course catalog is a great resource for course descriptions. Planning for college is important. Graduating with an endorsement, distinguished level of achievement, and performance acknowledgement are great ways to demonstrate to colleges that you are college ready. At Granbury High School, your student will have opportunities to take various college ready exams, including the TSI, SAT, ACT, and the PSAT. The ASVAB is a military interest and aptitude test that allows your student to discover strengths and possible career paths. A student does not have to be military bound to take the ASVAB. In addition, students must pass the Algebra 1, Biology, English 1, English 2, and U.S. History end of course exams to graduate. Having students take AP and dual credit courses in high school can be a serious advantage to our students, primarily because students will be more likely to continue post-secondary opportunities. Also, fees at a community college like Weatherford College are much less expensive than a four-year university. Even if the tuition fees are identical to a university setting, it's always more expensive to maintain multiple households even if one of those households is a dorm room. When considering AP and or dual credit courses, be sure to contact the colleges that you're considering and speak with an academic advisor. Colleges have different requirements for different degree plans. GISD is committed to the continuation of high rigor academic opportunities for our students. In order to obtain college credit for an AP class, the student must take the AP exam and score, score according to the guidelines outlined by the college or university of their choice. There are advantages of taking AP courses even if you don't intend to take the AP exam. The rigor is advantageous to all students. These dual credit courses are the current offerings that we have in place at GISD. GISD students have the opportunity to earn core complete courses to transfer to any public Texas university as a complete core for any degree. An approximate AP exam fee is $100. An approximate dual credit fee is $400 per class. If a student is considering a service academy or an out-of-state university, he or she, she should consider taking AP courses versus dual credit courses. Advanced placement is based on a single test, while dual credit is based on the course grade to earn possible college credit. If a student is attending a Texas public university, he or she might consider dual credit. It is imperative that students contact the prospective college to determine what the institution will honor. Some students might choose to earn an associate's degree while in high school. It is very important that you visit with your GISD counselor and a Weatherford College academic uh, advisor when charting this course. Counselors work with your student to ensure that they are on track to graduate. This is a form that counselors utilize to track your student's progress. These are things that parents and students need to think about when they work through high school. Are you going to pursue the 16 advanced academic credits? What industry certification does GHS offer that interests you? Are you interested in the military, a technical college, a two-year college, or a four-year college? These are all things that you must consider as you continue on your high school journey. It is important early on that you make a plan for making college affordable. One such way is completing the 
financial aid application for federal student aid or FAFSA in October of your student's 12th grade year. Your student will complete a course worksheet for registration. He will select an English class, a math class, and a science class. If he successfully completed a social studies course during the ninth grade year, he will not have to take a social studies class during 10th grade unless he is pursuing the multidisciplinary endorsement. In math, if your student is currently in Algebra 1, he needs to select Geometry or Honors Geometry. If your student is currently in Geometry, he needs to select either Algebra 2 or Honors Algebra 2. Your student has several science options. Please refer to the course catalog for descriptions. Next, students will select their four elective classes. Remember, if you are in band or athletics and want to continue in one of those classes, that you will need to put that down as one of your electives. You will either select band three or the third year of a sport when you write it down if you received high school credit in eighth grade. Otherwise, you will select year two. If you're taking the first year of a foreign language, you will need to select the second year of the foreign language for next year. Be sure to write it down as one of your electives. If you have not started your foreign language requirement, you need to select either American Sign Language 1, Spanish 1, or French 1. Be sure to look at the course selection sheet provided with your worksheet to write the course numbers after the hashtag or pound signed. Once you've completed your four elective selections, you will select three alternate courses. Don't forget to include the course numbers. Alternate courses are the courses that you want counselors to enter should one of your electives not be available. Make sure your alternate class one is the very next class that you want to go into your schedule if one of your electives is full or unavailable. Review your worksheet carefully to ensure that you have selected three core classes, four elective classes, and three alternate classes. You will submit the yellow copy of your registration forms to your counselor before you leave. The white copy is for you to take home to your parents for their review. Students will choose seven classes plus three alternate classes when they meet with GHS counselors to register. It is important to keep a balanced workload when choosing your classes. GHS wants to partner with you and your student to offer advising on academics, extracurricular involvement, endorsements, and college and career items. Please feel free to email your child's counselor with any questions that you have. We are here to help your student navigate high school. The GHS administrative staff and counseling staff are here to assist you. Mr. Jeremy Ross is the principal. Ms. Leslie Gallery is the academic dean. For students whose last names begin with A through C, your counselor is Mrs. Cindy Holt and your assistant principal is Mrs. Patty Sanderson. For students whose last name begins with D through HE, your counselor is Mrs. Kim Spencer and your assistant principal is Mr. Jimmy Heffernan. For students whose last name begin with HI through MA, your counselor is Ms. Claudia Hurst and your assistant principal is Dr. Josh Jones. For students whose last name begins with MC through SA, your counselor is Mrs. Karen Harrington and your assistant principal is Ms. Dina Carlton. And for students whose last names begin with SC through Z, your counselor is Mr. Douglas Barnett and your assistant principal is Mr. Danny Guidry. We also have a licensed professional counselor, Mr. Armando Martinez, who is available to help your student. The gifted and talented program slides follow for your review. Gifted and talented is different from high achieving. Some high achieving students are not gifted and talented. Some gifted and talented students are not high achieving. GT students have the potential for performing at a remarkable high level. And our job is to serve them and help them tap into that potential. In grades nine through 12, parents may request GT testing for their students. Parents must complete the forms for testing to occur. If your student qualifies for GT services, you will be notified. 
GT students should work independently with other GT students and with non-GT students. GISD strives to serve our students in all three areas. TPSP is the state and GISD board approved GT curriculum. TPSP requires a project which can be a product or a performance. GT experiences may include a Texas Performance Standards project, a GISD project-based learning unit, competitions such as the History Fair, Science Fair, or UIL, experiences throughout the entire school year and during the school day. GT students in grades nine through 12 are served through honors, AP, and dual credit classes. Therefore, GT students must take at least one of these types of courses. These courses do require a higher rigor of content in projects with products and or performances as per state guidelines. GT students not wishing to take an honors AP or dual credit course may either furlough from GT for one year or exit the GT program. GT resources are listed for your reference. Contact your campus administrator, counselor, or Ms. Becky Strain with any questions that you may have. Thank you for participating in the virtual GT uh, and academic 10th grade meeting.